Hi, Gregory Klump here, Chief Economist for the Canadian Real Estate Association with more good news on national housing activity over multiple listing service systems of Canadian real estate boards for February of 2011. Before I get into the latest stats, let me emphasize that housing market trends often differ due to a number of local factors, and for that reason you should consult your local realtor to understand how trends are shaping up in your housing market. With that important proviso out of the way, let's take a look at the national numbers in detail. National resale housing activity in February 2011 ran close to the five-year average for the month, continuing a theme that's characterized the past four months. That said, seasonally adjusted sales activity in February edged lower by 1.6% compared to the previous month. It eased in almost two-thirds of all local markets, which offset monthly increases in seasonally adjusted sales activity among other markets, including Vancouver and Calgary. Actual, that is, not seasonally adjusted national sales activity came in almost 6% below levels reported last February, which marks the smallest year-over-year -year decline in nine months. Having looked at the demand side of the housing market equation by way of sales activity, let's take a look now at supply and the balance between supply and demand. Nationally, new listings in February edged up 1.5% from the previous month on a seasonally adjusted basis, which builds on the 4.3% monthly increase in January. The rise in new listings is consistent with CREA's expectation that many sellers who shied away from listing their home last summer when the national housing market softened would list their home in early 2011, having by now observed improved demand and stable prices. With both sales activity and new supply little change in February, the national housing market remained firmly in balanced territory. The national sales to listings ratio, which is a measure of market balance, stood at 53.5% in February. That's little change from the previous four months. The number of months of inventory represents the number of months it takes to sell current inventory at the current rate of sales activity and is another measure of the balance between housing supply and demand. The seasonally adjusted number of months of inventory stood at 5.7 months at the end of February on a national basis. That's little change from the 5.5 months reported in January when it reached its lowest level since last April. And lastly, let's take a look at the national average price. The national average price for homes sold in February 2011 rose 8.8% year-over-year to almost $365,200. However, the average price has been skewed higher nationally and in British Columbia recently by a record number of multi-million dollar sales in a couple of areas in Greater Vancouver. When you take Vancouver out of the equation, the year-over-year -year increase in the national average price drops to 3.4%. So while that's still stronger than the past six months or so, National average price gains may recede after tighter mortgage regulations take effect in March. To summarize then, national sales activity edged lower in February while new listings and the number of months of inventory inched higher, but the national housing market remains firmly entrenched in balanced market territory. And while the national average price posted its biggest year-over-year -year increase since April of 2010, prices may well stabilize once tighter mortgage regulations take effect in March of 2011. I'll be back soon with results for sales activity in March 2011 and for the first quarter, so stay tuned.